praise the Lord. As we celebrate with our mother this morning, we shall sing together the hymn, Marvelous Grace of Our Loving God. Marvelous Grace of Our Loving Lord. Grace that exceeds our sin and our guilt.
us be seated, please. Good morning, church. Mine is a very simple task to welcome all of us. So I want to start by welcoming the celebrant and her family. You are all welcome to this celebration of life. The larger family of the Akonjis, you are all welcome. We appreciate you. We also appreciate the officials of the seminary who are here with us. We welcome you. We acknowledge the presence of everybody, especially I've seen a couple of faces that we have not seen in a long while, and they are here today to celebrate this life with us. I'm seeing Brother Brown, you're welcome. And uh, all our members and uh, friends and well-wishers, you are, you are welcome. This is First Baptist Church, Garki. It is a city set upon a hill, and here we experience the goodness of God all the time. So be blessed in this service. Again, you are most welcome. God bless you. Thank you very much. Once again, we shall rise to sing together, this time around the hymn, O Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder, how great thou hath.
church I have um, a Herculean tax to perform this morning but we are trusting God for it to be simplified it's time for us to give testimonies and I know that virtually everybody sitting here has something to say about our mother so I'm going to help us by saying it on your behalf and after I've said it, it is only when it becomes expedient for you to still say something that you come up to speak. Mommy will celebrate you this morning. You are a mother, a wife, an excellent administrator, a disciplinarian. You're a friend and confidant to many, acquaintance to some, and quintessential person, very difficult to summarize you. You are God's rare breed. And above all, by God's mercy, you are the wife of our convention president. <laughs> so this morning, I stand on behalf of everybody in the Nigerian Baptist Convention to say we love you and we celebrate this day. God bless you, man. So, having done that on behalf of everybody, would allow a few more testimonies. And this is how we go about it. I'm going to take two people who will be speaking as mommy's friends. 
Before we go into this, may I also say and implore us that we would have only a minute and 30 seconds each to speak so that we can take as many. We would have two people to speak as mommy's friend. I would like somebody from the high school, if he's here, probably a staff, to speak. Somebody from the Baptist Nursery and Primary School also to speak on behalf of staffs there. And um, we'll take this first four and we'll go on. But before we begin, our daughter Ruth's table has composed a poem she wants to recite this morning for mommy. Ruth, please, can you just come up quickly, please? Please, let's celebrate Ruth as she does this. Good morning, church. Um, I think if I was to testify about her, it would be a very long story. So I decided to put everything about her personality I've known through her into a write-up. In the art of patience, love resides. A mother embrace in her love confides. A gentle touch like a soothing tide, supporting you always by your side. Through every trial, she stands strong. With unwavering love, she, she rights the wrong. Her kindness echoes like a comforting song, guiding you through life's journey, long. In her eyes, you see a world so bright, filled with love, warm and endless light. A support, a beacon at night. A mother's love forever in sight. For a mother like yours, so loving and true, this poem is dedicated to you. True and true. May your patience, love, and support be renewed, bringing joy and blessings to you in Jesus' name. May the milestone of 60 years bring you abundant blessings, health, joy, love, as you continue to shine brightly in the lives of everyone around you. Happy 60th birthday. Thank you. We'll take two friends now. Okay, so I have that slot filled already. Yes, bro, Johnny, will you stand by bro Chinedo and we'll do this very quickly. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, if I'd waited, maybe I wouldn't have fallen into any of the categories, so let me just do it now. Now, I'm going to, I won't spend more than my time, please. Oreo grateful to God for his mercies, for his goodness, for his love upon the family of my mom and dad. I'm here to testify of God's goodness upon their lives. <clears throat> the love I received from this family, from mommy, is so amazing. I can never forget it. The first time I rented an apartment in Abuja, I just paid, there was no this, no that in the house. So mommy was away and she called me 
She gave me pots, gave me spoons, in gave summer, me rice and all of that. You know, summer, I can never forget. That's the first pot in my life. You know, I'm grateful to God. Then when it was time for me to relocate, the company I was working with was moving out of Abuja. So I met mommy and dad and I said I wasn't ready to leave Abuja at that time. They said, don't worry, just wait. So mommy called me and she engaged me for years. I was able to take care of my family, feed my family. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. You know, there was a time I had a dream. I felt mommy was not happy with me. God was just calling my attention that, see, this woman was really nice to you. Be careful. And I'm just grateful to God. I'm thankful to God. Thank you so much, ma. Thank you. Praise the Lord. My name is Ayoade Moses Ajani. I am a friend of this family. I am a friend of Mama Victoria Sunshine Akonji. And by the time I conclude my testimony, you will really know that Mommy Akonji is my friend. Um, I, I, I got relocated to Abuja by virtue of staying with an honorable member in Akpo Quarters. In 2002, I joined this church. Invariably, our candidate that we were staying with in Akpo Quarters in 2003 lost out the election. He was not re-elected to the House of Rep. We had to find our, our levels. We were plenty, we were graduates. And um, as a Baptist, and I had joined the church before this uh, unfortunate incident happened, we were looking for everywhere to stay. Um, I had, we used to have a, a room upstairs there that we that were, we were actually graduates. We were going to places, but we were bachelors. Most of us, we didn't have any work to do. We had not got a job, and we were staying there. I know we, there's no way you'll be staying in a job premises, and the pastor of the church will not know. They knew, but, you know, we were enjoying our stay, and we were looking forward to so many things. So many things really happened. In a lot of, some of us are bachelors. In you summary. know what? Uh, Mommy Akonji and Papa Akonji, they are very, very accommodating. There were a lot of uh, beautiful ladies that were staying in their premises. It was it, the mission house. The mission was not really big. It was a small apartment there. But you know, for, for, for people that are not even relations of the husband, to be staying in a home, the wife must be in full support. Incidentally, there were a lot of us that got their wives by paying visit to Mama and Papa Kaji's residence upstairs. Well, invariably, um, I didn't get one, maybe because I didn't visit well, even though today I'm happy that I'm happily married. If not for the accommodation attitude of Mama Kaji, there's no way these are friends. Some of those are friends, they are, they are hearing me, they are here today. They can bear me witness of the fact that they got their beautiful wives that are taking care of them very well today by paying visit to Mama and Baba Akaji's house. We thank God for this. Another is this. I, I'm always a front sitter. You see that in any congregation I find myself a lecture room, I'm always a front sitter. In this church, if I'm in church, if I'm one up with the choir, I'll be in the front there. So anything the pastor says, I'm always catching it. Um, I go to know through Baba Akaji where Mama Kaji was already a graduate. And she, she was to marry a pastor that had a diploma. And in the 90s when they got married, most women, their certificate entered their head. I don't think it's still applicable now. That your wife has a degree in a, a, a first generation university, Amadou Bello University, and he was going to go and marry a diploma holder. It was uncalled for. Brother, but I thank God for the humility. Some of this is where Baba Kaji said it. I always catch it and put it in my head. Brother, this woman Jenny. is a very humble woman. She was working in Lagos. She was working as a graduate. And her father-in-law was sick. She had to, a graduate now, a senior staff, she had to abandon her job to take care of her father-in-law. How many women of today will take care of their father-in-law? Even when they are dropout, they are school out orders, they will like, their father-in-law is not part of them. So mama, some of this is, I'm not the one that said it, your husband said it, and I caught it, and they were messages to me. And all this alone, they made me to see as somebody that should be my friend. Brother mama, you Chani. may not know today, but you are my friend, and I pray um, to celebrate 60 is, is a big deal. It's a big deal to be 60. Whoever is saying, what are they celebrating? Somebody is diamond. He's 60 years. It's a big deal. And by the grace of God, you will celebrate 70. You will celebrate 80. You will celebrate 90 as much as possible. You have been a pillar of support to Baba Akonji. I don't need to be told. 
I'm a very, I observe people very well. For Baba Kanji to get to where he is today, you have been instrumental. And you will continuously be instrumental. And your families are continuously progressing in Jesus' name. Last year, I thought it was going to be 60. I almost sent, I almost sent a diamond birthday uh, to you, but somebody said it was going to be this year. We thank God. Yes, thank you, others. Okay. Church, please. I want to implore us by the mercies of God. There is a service that is going to come up almost immediately after this. If you're speaking, please let's give the reader's digest version. Baptist High School, Baptist Nigerian Primary School, please, quickly. Praise the Lord. My name is Victoria Olani, and I'm standing here speaking on behalf of Baptist Nursery and Primary School here. I want to thank God for the life of Mommy Akonji. She is indeed a mother to all of her staff. I want to bless the name of the Lord for the time Mommy stayed with us. She is a great mother. So many times Mommy will call us to correct us in love. Not to destroy us, but to construct us. Want to bless the name of the Lord for how far mommy has helped us. She is a great woman. And we love her so much. And I pray that she will celebrate many more years in the land of the living in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you and God bless you, man. Amen. High school, high school, high school. I thought I saw the board chairman coming up. Praise the Lord. I'm standing in the gap uh, for the by staff, uh, Baptist High School staff and the board member. The staff cannot be here this morning because they are conducting common uh, entrance exam. I'm standing in for them by the grace of God. Mommy, the far whom you left behind, we are trying to fix it up to now. But we know that with the help of God, we feel the, the Lord will feel the falcon for us. As a chairman, I'm trying to step into the shoe that you left behind for me. It's the grace of God I'm standing upon. Because in the administration, the Lord has helped you do, doing a lot. And not till now, we are trying. And I pray that God will help you, help us in Jesus' name. You are epitome of love. You carry everyone along. You so love and we so cherish it. May the Lord continue to increase you and bless you in Jesus' name. We love you and we need more of your prayer because the fact whom you left behind with us, we are trying to visit. That is just the truth. And we pray that God will help us to visit in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. I want to come to the church and I will take just one. Ah, this is a serious matter. Okay, mommy, I didn't pay, please go. You know, I had helped everybody at first when we started. Praise the Lord. Of course, this is our constituency and you must call us. <laughs> Thank you very much for the opportunity. Um, we miss you in our midst. And you know, as WMU, we are missionary. I want to say that you are a missionary. When you were with us, so many testimonies about you, that you go to so many villages around Abuja, and because you are fluent in speaking Aousa language, that was a plus. We are able to win many souls. It has been said you are accommodating. We were in your house yesterday. The ladies and gentlemen testified to that. Thank you, ma'am. You are humble too and very, very intelligent. We miss you and we pray that God will continue to be with you as to begin another decade in Jesus name. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you. I want to come to the relatives and I'll do it this way.
Praise the Lord. I think I had to do this. And Mama Mission, I want to say something that a lot of people do not know about you. For us, many things tie us to the Akanjis. I got married the year they came to this church. And ever since, we have been together. My mission has great passion for those who are waiting on the Lord for the fruit of the womb. She had a bit experience of it herself, and we too had experience of that. And she partnered with our family in this. And I know that if people are to testify to what God did, it will take the whole of the time for this service. But I want to let us know that God honored her and that mission. There are so many that God answered their prayers. The other thing I want to say is that at times it's difficult to reach pastor. But the easiest way to reach pastor is to come on my mission. If you struggle because at times pastor, we, you know, thousands of messages, calls, I don't, I know it's difficult to take that, but if you come on my mission, any time she will take it and she will pass the message. I just want to thank God for your life. Like uh, uh, Reverend Shaw said, you know, we can't, if we are to begin to testify to what God is doing for you and doing through you, we will not leave this place. I just pray that God will continue to lift you up and give you more grace to serve him and impart this word in Jesus' name. Mommy Ruth Ajayi, please come. Okay. Praise the Lord. Just one minute. <laughs> uh, thank you. Sorry, Pastor, for imposing myself. Um, I want to testify on, be, on behalf of myself and my family on the character and life of uh, Mommy uh, Sunshine Akanji. What I want to say is something that I learned from her and is helping me even today. You know, at times when you are bereaved or you are in mourning, a lot of people come to commiserate with you, to condone you, to comfort you, and things like that. In 2020, we were bereaved in the family, and it took a very long time. We were taking condolences and things like that, and after the condolence has gone, the funeral has gone, and everything has quieted down, Mommy Akanji visited me. And on that day that she visited, she came alone and she took more than two hours with me. She was, you know, we cried together, we discussed so many things together, we opened our hearts to each other. And you know, that shows the type of woman that she is, that she is very, very caring to the core. Mommy, that visit you gave to me taught me a lot of lessons. And up till today, I am trying to put myself into, uh, you know, doing that to other people, replicating that to other families. Thank you very much, Ma. Happy 60th birthday. We wish you long life, prosperity, and so many good things that you wish yourself. God bless you, Ma. Praise the Lord. I think I'm most honored. Uh, to, to be here today. Uh, mommy, I just want to say thank you so much. You've always been there praying for me. No matter where I am, if she stays two weeks without reaching out, she feels something is missing. And her prayers always come true when I need it most. I was in Syria at the point that it was always not an easy one, but she was always there and daddy. 
I went to Myanmar. I had so much challenges there, but they were always there praying for me. When I called my husband, I said, I just spoke with uh, Mommy Sunshine. Daddy, he said, Oh, girl, we that are in Nigeria. Oh, tell you very well. Now you ain't there, there in the call. So I just want to say thank you. You've always been there. You've been a source of joy and inspiration. My career life will not be complete without adding you in my history. Thank you so much. And these children, you will celebrate them and they will be greater than us. My baby, you know. Thank you. All right. The owner of this vehicle needs to step out quickly. GWA965KA, a Toyota Elox. Your lights are on and probably your batteries are draining off. We'll come to the relative now. So I'll do this quickly. One in-law and one direct relative, please, quickly. I'm coming back to the children of the house. The children will live with mommy. One of you, please come and just come afterwards, yes. Hallelujah. I greet you all in Jesus' name. This is a great day for us and for everyone that is here as part of the family of the Anyawis from where Mommy Sunshine came up from, where Zaki saw her and said he wants her, and we heartedly give her to him, to the glory of God. I want to say that I just have a word, but there is something that was composed for Sunshine and when I say this word, I'll beg the media to play it that we will listen. You are 60. Isaiah 60 says, arise and shine. You are sunshine. You are already shining. All I can say, continue to shine to the glory of God. As you serve God and you serve humanity. We are proud of you. We are happy to be associated with you. And Zaki. Thank you for being a family. We appreciate you. The children, God bless you all. Media, can you just give us? No, just... Can you family please stand up? Oma Alicia Bemu, Oma Anya Wuyi Akawo Ose, Oma Anya Bola Ajile Ose, Oma Anya Dutan Anike Ose, Oma Anya Tokun Amawo Ose, Oma Anya Yemi Abeni Ose. Oma anya leye adiwo ose, oma anya wabi aremu ose, oma anya joju, eku ori ire, eku eto to ni, olorun yo je ke eba yin kale, ayo wa yo okun, lagbara olon, arodun modun, arosu mosu, ese o ni yena, ujo o ni ti ni, lagbara jesu, emi, kungun, ati alafia, aralile, ona ni efi lo ojo aye inyi o. Ophia <laughs> Yiti e yido, e mama yi koko, bi e ba yi koko, inu alama abadye, oma ade gun lola di baba tan, inu bi ori inu baba wan. Aba a mi a raka a raka, a di gun oko le re, si laka, oko le a ye gun, oko ju re si a ki toto, eni ti o fe, ko ya, eni ti o ba si fe, ko mama ti e ya. Ko si bi tok ba gede, bi o se laka, ko si bi tok ba le gboro, a fi le e bara o ni lude, Baba mi araka araka, o kole ka araka, o koju re si laka, o kole aye gun, o koju re si aki toto, eni ti o fe ko yali adi gun, eni ti o fe ko mama ti e ya. 
ọmọ aparo ni ko sika ọmọ re ni ko yo bi ko ba se ileke to wa ni di iyawo a to fi omo to wa laya obirin ọmọ adegun lo ladara lewa o si jobirin lo ọmọ agbo ma bi ni aforo sikun bi agba bo ki yen e ku orire oni o yo ba yin kale o olohun yo da yin si tomo tomo o ye ti e gba yo ma ri agbara jesu awon omo ma o so rire ayo ayo fun o agbara olohun olohun yo wa pelu ni na ba pe ta lo nki yin o emi ni iknes esther aya wo bi aya wu yi omo adegun lo la haleluya thank you very much yes uh, mommy akonji senior is coming okay on behalf of all the in-laws praise the lord we give glory to god for this occasion which has given some of us the privilege to come and say something about our brother's wife the popular name in the family is Vic. That's the popular name. Before they married, something happened which I just want to share here because I know that you people too will be surprised. She was in Zaria schooling and I was here in Joss. One morning like that, I just saw her and a friend. What happened? What about school? She said, I had a dream yesterday, and this dream is not allowing me to settle. So I want to share it. I want us to pray. I want you to do something. Did you hear anything about him or any problem anywhere? I said, no. She said, she had that dream and she was worried about it. So she shared it and when she shared it, we prayed together. The friend that came with her too was there and was wondering. That's just, you know, the first serious experience that I had with her. That she came all the way from Zaria to come and see me about if a, a husband to be, let me say, not yet hooked, but praying that it will happen. So we prayed together, and she left that day with her friends. And I eventually followed her. I drove to Zaria too to go and see her and to go and uh, talk with her. And everything calmed down. That's one thing I want to share about her. She's very loving. She has a very serious heart of love for her husband to be then. How much more now for her husband? And we thank God. Each time we see her, we are always grateful to God that God has done it for us. God is doing it for us and he will continue to do it. Therefore, I encourage you that good thing, all those good things that you know how to do, which I don't have to start listing here. I want you to continue in the goodness. And the children too, to learn very well from mommy. Do you understand that? Learn very well from mommy. And God will help you and take you to the higher level that you want to be. And for my brother, I know he can be troublesome sometimes. <laughs> you know, it can be sometimes, but thank God for Vic. She has a, a heart of love and she doesn't take those things too much to heart. She forgives and everything goes. So I pray that as you clock 60, as people have prayed for you, you will clock 70, you will clock 80, and you go, if the Lord tarries, you get to 90 also by God's grace. 
So thank you all for coming. We are grateful for being here for us. God bless you all. Amen. Can I, can I have the children in the house? Pardon me, Reverend. I'm standing, I'm Mr. Anwar David. I'm standing on behalf of the maternal uncles and aunties of the celebrant. Uh, I'm sorry for intruding, but I have to because it's a period to give thanks to God. When we look back at all that happened, we have nothing but to say, say de good, yeah. That is all we owe God because it has been a treacherous journey, especially at the initial stage. But we thank God that he took charge and he took absolute control. And to the glory of God, we are not just celebrating you, Vic. We are celebrating our own president. We are celebrating your children. And I'm quite sure that our sister in heaven above we turn and give praises to Almighty God. As you commence a journey of a new beginning, the grace of God that has been with you, that has shepherded you, will continue to move you forward. And we thank God for your children. We thank God especially for the president for taking good care of us. Uh, yes, they have said he's troublesome, but we know that Sometimes some troubles are for good, and we have seen it. May God continue to elevate you and give you the grace to lead the convention to the glory of his name. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. Praise the Lord. May I ask that all the children in the house, wherever you are, please can, can you rise as Sister Elizabeth does this? Please rise. Thank you. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Mom and dad, on behalf of the children of the house, we want to say thank you so much. Mommy has never given us or daddy a reason to doubt one day or to make us look little among the children. She doesn't make, she doesn't look, she doesn't, we, didn't see, we can't see different between we and our children. She treats us the same and dads too treat us the same the way they treat their children. Mommy and dad, we want to say thank you, especially for mom. Mommy, she's always accessible. Anytime you are in trouble or you're in pain, she's always there. And she has a listening here. Mommy, we say thank you. God bless you, ma. Like others have said, you've seen 60, you will see 70, you will see 80, and you will see 90. If Jesus tarried, you'll see 120. And you will live in good hearts for us. We love you, mommy. Please, sir, please. Mine is very, very important. What the Lord has done for me, I cannot tell it all. What the Lord has done for me, I cannot tell it all. What the Lord has done for me, I cannot tell it all. He saves me and dies me in his love. It is love, so I can shout hallelujah. I can shout hallelujah. I can shout praise the Lord. Please, I'm so sorry, sir. Mine is very, very important. I am the firstborn of the family. Me that you are looking at. I know that many people do not know me. I am the firstborn of sunshine. Praise the Lord. I started living with mom and dad from 1992. Then Damaris was five, four months or five months, thereabouts. We started living together. And she took care of me like our own child, like our own daughter. From primary, from primary six to secondary to university level. Praise the Lord. I am the for all these people you are seeing, all these girls. I see all them. I am the for <laughs> Mommy, God bless you, ma. Thank you for taking care of me. God bless you. You will celebrate 100, 120 in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you. With Jesus' joy, I want to recognize the presence of the wives of 
our vice presidents of the convention, Mommy Madowe, Mommy Banduma, and Mommy Oloyede. God bless you real good. Please come and one of you will speak on behalf of all the wives. And you are doing this representing all pastor's wives. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today is the day that the Lord has made. We rejoice and be glad in it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Mommy Sunshine, congratulations to you. Congratulations to the Kanjis family. Mommy is a wonderful mother. Yes, she is. Proverb 31 summarizes our lives. Our lives. She has been so good to us since he came to the convention. She has had more beauty to the convention family. <laughs> Mama is so wonderful. Mama is so loving. Is so caring. Mama is an hard-working mother. Very industrious. The day she took me to her farm, I, 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 I shouted, wow! With all your busy schedule, you still have time for farm. I said, that is great. Mama is so wonderful. One thing I love Mama for, she's so prayerful. She's very prayerful. No issue you take to her. As you are leaving, Mama will say, let's pray about it. At the time when I was in a, in a difficult situation, I ran to Mama. I told Mama, see, see, see. And Mama gave me a good counsel and pray with me. Mama has been there for every one of us in the convention. She rallied around every one of us. She's a good supporter to her daddy. Mama, thank you so much. The Lord bless you. You are seeing 60. You will see 70. You will see 80. You will see 100. God bless you. Daddy, we say God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We love you. Praise the Lord. A moment ago, I told Reverend Oshon that this my mom is from Ibadan will not represent the pastor's wives of First Baptist Church, Gerke Abuja. I don't know if my sisters are here, Mrs. Osho and Mrs. Ayoleye. Please come. Mrs. Ode, are you close by? Please come. We want to thank God for the life of our mother. She is our mother, and our mother indeed. A role model, somebody to look up to in every aspect of life. Spiritually, socially, in our relationship with everybody, we look up to her. Thank you, mommy, for being you. We are proud of you. Thank you for accepting us with all our weaknesses, our excesses, our challenges. And she's just everything. And to, she's many things to all of us. She's a counselor. She prays for us at all times. In fact, sometimes I wonder if mommy has like 32 hours. You know, the rest of us, we have 24 hours. Because I wonder how she copes with her enormous responsibilities. And she doesn't look stressed. Thank you, mommy. We appreciate you. And we pray that even at 60, as you grow to be 70, 80, 90, 100, the Lord will continue to increase you on all sides. You are shining. But let me borrow somebody's English. You aren't seeing nothing yet. You are just starting because you will shine more. You will shine more of God's glory all the days of your life. As you pray for others and you take care of others, 
the Lord will answer your prayers. Amen. You have just started celebrating many, many, many more celebrations in the family in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Daddy, for taking care of our mother. We appreciate you, sir. More grace to your elbows. The Lord will continue to embrace you, both Daddy and Mommy, and he will continue to bless every of your endeavor. Over all of us, over the entire Nigeria Baptist Convention, you will not be tired. You will not be weary. You have started well. You will end well. And the Lord will continue to uphold you. Thank you. Mommy Sunshine, we appreciate you and we love you. We celebrate you at all times. God bless you, man. Thank you, Mommy Tom. And for doing this for us. Can I come to the children now? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, good morning, house. I just want to say one or two words. Um, the, the team from Ibada have already said the purpose of my coming out that this mama, this lady we are celebrating today is a prayer warrior. And I want to thank you, especially during COVID. COVID. We thank God. Thank you for your life. God will continue to bless you. Have a pleasant morning. Good, good morning, church. Before I say my own, I have to read one from her sister first and to Justina. She wrote, this is a special day in your life. Six decades of God's unfailing mercies and we, the inhabitants of the earth who know, have called you mom and are glad to rejoice with the God that has created you. She's always beaming with a smile, meek and beautiful. My petite, a great woman and mother worthy of emulation in all spheres, dealings and with humanity. She's a prayer warrior, a counselor, a giver, a teacher, a great listener, an instructor, a missionary, a traveler, the boss lady of no compromise. Her height and size is not a determining factor, for she is a fearless lion. Your loving, your loving smile shows who you are. You are warm, receptive, philanthropic, mindset, character, and calmness is attributed to Proverbs 31, which describes you as God's creation. I celebrate you, my psychedelic, sputting, but very own petite. You are a blessing to the generation of many, and I did not remember to stress that you are my troublemaker. At this age, she still knocks my head. Someone should tell her that I'm old now and that she should stop knocking my head. Mom, you are a red gem. Happy birthday. Your days are blessed in the land of the living. You will continue to know joy and bounty throughout your life. The God you trust and serve will never let you down for he is your back day and night. You labor upon your own and generations will not be in vain. You think back and look ahead. and. No God's grace and mercy still abounds for you. I celebrate your new age stronger than yesterday and in the health of radiance. That's from Auntie Justina. Now from us, Sunshine. Oh, sorry, her full name. Victoria, Sunshine, Oura Remilekun, David, Akonji, Ayonyi, dot, dot, dot. Words are actually not enough to quantify who you are, mom. You are kind, you are caring, you are funny, you are smart, honest, interesting, thoughtful, and just a ray of sunshine. Thank you, mom, for sharing in every sense of the word what it means to be a good person. Your heart is wide. You taught us the importance of forgiveness, of letting go, and of freeing our hearts. You taught us that there's beauty beyond our face, but on the inside, when we radiate inside, we radiate outside. We cannot appreciate you or enough. You are our number one supporter. You put us first. You sacrifice for us. You cry with us. You laugh with us. Keep, you win with us. You lose with us. You stay with us. And even when you are distant, you are so close by. You are truly too much. And we pray that God in heaven will reward you. We wish you more success, more wins, and more grace. We love you all. And don't forget that you are not old till you are 80. <laughs> Happy birthday, sunshine. All right. 
Before we move to the celebrant of the day, I think it's time for us to welcome... <laughs> Daddy, sir, yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> sir, sir, on behalf of everybody, we are begging that you make it brief. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. Um, thank you. Please be seated. Want to thank all of you for coming. I know vote of thanks will come later, but one cannot but thank you all. Um, I just want to say that um, we did not know we were going to have this celebration in Abuja. In the Baptist building uh, housing where the president lives, there are so many trees. It's a big compound and uh, beautiful. So we just said we will arrange chairs under the, uh, the trees and celebrate. All of a sudden, we just got this information that the graduation of the Theological Extension Center of Ogbomosho in Abuja will be on the 23rd. So we had to call ourselves and start saying, wow. And we didn't want to tamper with that graduation date since I knew that uh, Sunshine and all the others had been waiting for the graduation to come. So for the day to come and for you to say you want to do something again will be like delaying everybody. So for us, we just say, okay, let's adjust to it and keep to it. And that's how we uh, found ourselves on the way here for the celebration. And we're so grateful that at short notice, everybody here got a very short notice. You all came. We are grateful. I just want to uh, say that uh, I don't know what my life would have been without Sunshine. She... She, she actually has been uh, not just a wife, but I, I, I am like a ministry. She has taken me as a ministry, you know. And uh, going back again to when I took her to my dad, I said that this is the girl I wanted to marry. And my dad looked at her and shook his head. And she went to him, I'm a good girl, I will take care of you. My dad said, the problem is not you. <laughs> the problem is the, the person we want to live in your hands. How could we, who know how much trouble that we face in handling this man, hand him over to somebody like you? You know, and um, God has been with us. I, I was wondering, almost all the time, you know, even my family members, they take side with my wife. And uh, can you imagine my sister saying he can be stubborn? <laughs> and that, is, that means that as I was going with Vic uh, Sunshine, everybody kept being afraid for her. I hope this man will not shout on her one day. I hope one day he will not... But I have never really shouted. Vic, have I shouted? <laughs> so, I want to say her coming to the family has brought light unto us through her prayers, her commitment, her support. And that's why her name changed to Sunshine. May she continue to shine God's glory. Thank you for the privilege. Please, can we clap again and again and again? Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. While we remain standing, I want to invite the celebrant of today, our mother. We're celebrating today to so please give God praise as she shares her testimony. Please, let's celebrate God in our life. Let's celebrate God in our life. Thank you very much. You may be seated. Thank you. Please be seated. Keep my share.
and I say thanks for the things you have done for me. Things so I don't deserve, yet you do to prove yeah. your love for me. want to say thank you Jesus everything that everyone has said Jesus is the reason that I'm alive today it is because of Jesus I've enjoyed so much grace and that first hymn that we first sang is so precious to me grace marvelous grace of our loving God I'm grateful I celebrate everyone who has come to celebrate with me I appreciate God for blessing me, blessing my life from my parents to my foster parents to marrying my husband and giving me a lovely in-laws and blessing me with the opportunity of ministry. I'm grateful and for blessing me with many, many children. Thank God for my biological children. I want to appreciate God for this church. The testimony and the story of my life is incomplete because in this place, God grew me and gave me a wider platform for ministry. I'm grateful to God for the leadership of First Baptist Church, Garki Abuja, and for everyone. And I want to appreciate my big, big, large family, the family of the Nigerian Baptist Convention. I am grateful. All I desire today is just to have the opportunity to say thank you, Lord. Father, I thank you. Congratulations, man. I'd like to humbly request that the celebrant and the family, our Father and the Lord, our convention president and uh, our mommy and the children will please come 
for prayer. Let's move it to the front. For this time of prayer, I'd like to invite the delegation from the seminary. I'd like to invite Reverend Kalma to join. Those of us who are here, I'd like to invite our conference president to come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I just want us to stretch our hands towards our mommy and our family. Let us thank God for God's grace. Grace that is, has been bestowed upon our mother. Let's appreciate God for this beautiful, this wonderful life. Let's appreciate God for every opportunity God has granted unto her in life to impact lives, to bring joy to those who were saddened, to bring light to those who were experiencing darkness. Let's thank God for her life. Let us thank God for granting her the grace to see this beautiful day her 60th birthday. Let's thank God for all she has been through since the day she was born to today. God has been gracious. God has shown her mercy. The Lord has shown her favor. The Lord has been good to her. I want us to appreciate God for his goodness and his faithfulness upon our mother's life and upon our family. Oh, Father, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. I want us to pray for the years ahead that the Lord God Almighty will cause that she would continually operate up under open heavens. I want us to pray. Please pray for her like you are praying for yourself. That the Lord will continue to be merciful unto her. She will continue to enjoy God's faithfulness every stage of her life the Lord would do her good the Lord would answer our prayers oh thank you Father Lord we thank you in Jesus name we have prayed eternal Father we bless and adore you for who you are we confess Lord that you are God and there is no one like you thank you Father for the life of your own daughter, our mother, our sister, our wife, Lord, our friend, we appreciate you. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness and your faithfulness over our life since the day she was born. Thank you, Father, for giving unto her grace upon grace. From the day she was born up until today, Father, we thank you. We celebrate your goodness, your faithfulness, your mercies, your kindness to our mother. Father, accept our heart of gratitude in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for every tear she has had to shed. Thank you, Lord, for everything that has brought her joy. Thank you for every good and wonderful thing with which you have blessed her that is making her to sing songs of praises and adoration unto you every day of her life. Father, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Accept our heart of gratitude in the name of Jesus. Lord, we commit your daughter unto your hands afresh. And we pray, oh God, that you will cause that the years ahead will be more beautiful than every year she has spent on earth in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we join her to confess that Lord, what eyes have not seen, what ears have not heard, 
what is yet to come to the thought of men. You, our God and our Father, you do for our mother and our family in the name of Jesus. We we'll pray, Lord God Almighty, that all the days of our life, she will operate in good health. She will operate in a sound mind. She will operate, oh God, in a sound body. In the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, we we'll pray, oh God, that she will continually shine your glory everywhere she goes to in the name of Jesus. We we'll pray, eternal Father, that you bless all of our endeavors, especially, Lord, in this great and wonderful ministry you have committed into our hands in the mighty name of Jesus. We we'll trust you, eternal Father, that your daughter will not be weary. Your daughter will not be tired. Your daughter will not fall by the wayside. But Lord, your grace will continually be sufficient for her in the name of Jesus. We we'll pray, Lord God Almighty, that for the years ahead, oh God, she will enjoy your mercies. She will enjoy more of your faithfulness in the name of Jesus. Jesus, the great ministry of her being a strong pillar beside our Father. Lord, we we'll pray that, Lord, you will give unto her all that she needs, O oh God, to fulfill this ministry graciously in the name of Jesus. So many of us are looking up unto her as our mother. We we'll pray, eternal Father that she will not fail the heavens in the name of Jesus. She will not fail you, our creator, in the name of Jesus. But Lord, for every moment, the wisdom that she needs, Father, you will release upon her in a great measure in the name of Jesus. Just as Solomon asked, that I do not know how to lead these people, but I want you, God, to give me wisdom with which to lead them. Father, give your daughter more wisdom to lead your people in the name of Jesus. We we'll pray just as our name implies that Father, your glory will continually shine through her all the days of her life in the name of Jesus. We also pray, oh God, Father, for her daddy. Now, Lord, as they work together as a team, this team will work stronger in the name of Jesus. Lord, thank you for every land they have conquered. We we'll pray, Lord God Almighty, that Father ahead of them, there will be much more victories in the name of Jesus. Victories that will bring glory and honor to your name and joy to the hearts of your people in the name of Jesus. Victories that will bring joy to your church in the name of Jesus. Victories that will bring joy, oh God, to the entire, entire Nigeria Baptist Convention in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Father, for their seats both biological and not by biological. We we'll pray, eternal Father, that your grace will be multiplied upon them as well to continually be a pillar of support to them in the name of Jesus. We we'll pray, eternal Father, that Lord, in your mercy, you will raise up faithful men and women who will lift up, O oh God, their hands, O oh God, in the work of the ministry in the name of Jesus. We we'll trust you, eternal Father, that their seeds will prosper. Lord, in all that they do in the name of Jesus, they will increase on all sides in the name of Jesus. You will cause, Lord God Almighty, that very soon, oh God, we will celebrate them. Lord, in their marriages in the name of Jesus, we will celebrate them, oh Lord, in great ventures in the name of Jesus. We will celebrate them in their chosen careers in the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. We just appreciate you, Lord, because we know you have heard us. We Thank you, Lord, because we know you are able to do much more than we have asked of you. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you for hearing us. For in Jesus' precious name we have prayed.
Praise the Lord. It is a good thing to praise the Lord. Mommy, congratulations, ma. Daddy, congratulations. Uh, Damaris, Gaius, and Tabitha, congratulations. May the Lord bless all of you in Jesus' name. Uh, for this beautiful occasion, we are reading from Psalm 98. I am reading from New International Version. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have worked salvation for him. The Lord has made his salvation known and revealed his righteousness to the nations. He has remembered his love and his faithfulness to Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth, burst into jubilant song with music. Make music to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the sound of singing, with trumpets and the blasts of the ram's horn. Shout for joy before the Lord, the King. Let the sea resound and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. Let the rivers clap their hands. Let the mountains sing together for joy. Let them sing before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world in righteousness and the peoples with equity. May the Lord bless his word in our hearts in Jesus' name.
Amen. Amen. Thank you, choir, for blessing us with this great song. Uh, in honor of our mother, today a medical group is in the church premises to offer free medical services. And uh, the senior citizens will do well to please benefit from that. Bowen University wants to say something. Uh, Dickness, where is she? All right. Maybe she thought I forgot. I didn't forget. Thank you. Good morning, all. Good morning. Happy birthday, mommy. I am mandated by the Pro Chancellor and the Chairman of Council, Bowen University, and the entire council members and the Bowen University community to congratulate you on your 60th birthday and to say we love you. You are a matron. You are an epitome of humility. We want to bless God for your life. Munak Aunariki, Allah Ebar Mutari, Achikin Sunan Yesu. We have this gift from Bowen University. I'm going to present it to you in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you very much. Late Mazi uh, Okorafo, and for which he had had to travel. Today, I have this very big task to bring the word of God to a very big person at a very special occasion. Let us pray. Father, we ask that you will just bless us from your word and you will, leave, you will help us to leave this place knowing that you are God in all situations and that we should thank you forever. Thank you, Lord because much more than we have asked you will do. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Growing up in a village in Plateau State, the moment you hear the big drum sounding from whatever direction, you know that there is festivity. The big, big drum in the run tribe, the moment you hear it, you know there is big celebration. Today we have read from Psalm 98. This is a call to celebrate with joy the righteousness of the Lord who reigns. The first three verses call us to celebrate with song for God's great acts of deliverance, saving his people he says, sing a new song in verse 1. For he has done marvelous things. His right hand, his holy arm, have worked salvation for him. In verse 2, he says, God has revealed his acts of faithfulness, of righteousness to his people. And in verse 3, he calls us to remember God because of his faithfulness, because of his covenant. God is committed to his own people. God is merciful. God is full of goodness. Look at verses 4 to 6. Verse 4 says, shout for joy to the Lord all the earth. Burst into jubilant song with music. This, the psalmist calls us 
to celebrate from wherever you are on the surface of the earth with singing, with every form of musical instrument, with a harp, with our voices. The Lord triumphs over all. Look at verse 6. It says, with trumpets and the blast of the ram's horn, shout for joy before the Lord, the King. The Lord is King and he calls us, the psalmist calls us to rejoice, to celebrate, to praise the Lord for all that he has continued to do. And look at verses 7 to 9, where God calls us, the whole of creation, to celebrate, to rejoice in the presence of the Lord. He said, let the sea resound and everything in it the world and all who live in it. The seas should rejoice and all inside of it. Verse 8 says, Let the rivers clap their hands. Let the mountains sing together for joy. The rivers, the mountains, all should sing for joy to the Lord. In verse 9, he said, let them sing before the Lord. For he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world in righteousness and the peoples with equity. God is not partial. God is good. And the psalmist calls us to come into the presence of God, to celebrate, to rejoice. How does this apply to us and particularly to our mother who is celebrating today? I'm sure looking back to Kanarop, looking back to Akwanga, the events before you came to consciousness for which you are told stories, I shared some part of them. You will know that there is nothing else for you to do than just to burst out in praises and thanksgiving to the Lord. God is righteous. Some things that he does, sometimes we will wonder and say, how can good come out of this? Yet the Bible says God is righteous. In all of his doing, there is no wrong. They are all right. We may not see them now as, they, as, as though they are right, but they are indeed right. And I'm sure you have begun to see, to taste the goodness, the righteousness of God from all that he has done. For all that he has done and from all that he is yet to do therefore today I encourage you that because God is righteous may you continue to see the goodness of God that will cause for you to burst out in jubilant singing that all of your innermost being will exhume Praise to our one righteous and holy God. Secondly, I'd like to call your attention to continue to sing. You began to sing and you sang and you sang, which is not foreign to us who know you. That you will continue to sing praises to God in your closet and outside in open worship because God's faithfulness will continue with you. God never abandoned you in the time past. It's too late for him to change his mind. It is his nature to remain faithful and you will continue to see his faithfulness and for which you will never cease to praise the Lord. And the second part of it is that it will cause for you to be more committed to the Lord in all of your ways. And I pray today that there will be a renewal of commitment, a renewal, a rededication of yourself, of your ministries, of all that God has endowed you with, that his faithfulness will continue to be seen through your life, through your 
activities, your ministries, and the opportunities that God gives to you to serve in the household of faith. And I'd like to conclude by this. May you find reason to celebrate. May you find reason to rejoice. May your, may your celebration and rejoicing become infectious. That all who are around you, by your reason of you celebrating, the Lord will cause rejoicing to pass from you. You will be a carrier of rejoicing. As people come in touch with you, they will experience rejoicing. People will come to you, heads bowed, but in contact with you, they will live with their heads raised up, with hope renewed, with joy rekindled. That will be your lot as you continue in this new year and in this new decade and through your life and ministry. And I pray for you this morning that every matter that is yet unresolved, that you are crying before the Lord for, and that you are asking when will it come, you are part of our own struggle for 17 and a half years. And I remember the day that I went into the pastor's office and I said, Pastor, I have something to tell you. My wife is pregnant. Pastor stood up and went and locked the door. And he said, what did you say, Brother Emmanuel? I said, my wife is pregnant. And I told him, it's more than six months. You don't mean it. I said, yes, I mean it. But I want it only for your ears for now. And he knelt down with me. He held my hands. And we prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed. And you know, I said, you have to tell Mama Mission. Because we have been in it together. Now for those who you are standing in the gap also. And for other matters. The Lord who did this for us. He will also answer. He will give you reason to celebrate. Because of his faithfulness. It shall not come to a halt. It shall not be terminated. This will be your lot. This will be your experience. In the name of Jesus Christ. Congratulations man. At this time, we would like to call upon our sister Damaris to come and give the vote of thanks. Praise the Lord. Praise God. On behalf of my nation, I love to call my family my nation because we are truly a nation. I would like to thank God for making this day possible. I would like to thank First Baptist Church, Garki Abuja, and the leadership of the church. Thank you so much, sir, as a mass. I pray that God will bless you in Jesus' name. <laughs> for the convention, for all of our friends and families from far and near. We want to say thank you so very much for being here this morning. We are so grateful because I know when I started to put out the flyer for this morning that, <laughs> that it was quite late, but I have been amazed at the amount of love that has been shown to my family and I pray that God will bless you in Jesus name and to the most amazing choir thank you so much for singing so amazing to the ushering to the media to the instrumentalist to everyone who is here present thank you so much I pray that as you go home that rejoicing will be at your door in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much once again for coming and God bless you real good in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sister Damaris. Now it's time for the celebrant to cut her cake. Um, 
I'd like to invite her and daddy to come to cut the cake first. Uh, I'd like to invite mommy Madowe to come and give the command. Abby? Yes. Praise the Lord. We spare the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus has kept her mother for these 60 years. And that name will continue to carry her for the remaining years in her life in Jesus' name. J. E. S. U. A. Jesus. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much. While, while you are yet there, let the officiating ministers come and take a quick one. Officiating ministers. pictures as soon as the service rounds up. Um, while we sing our uh, hymn, Higher Grounds, the ushers will go around. We'd like to take an offering of thanksgiving to the Lord for this great event. Uh, Brother Olatoku Ayobami is pleased, uh, lost a brown wallet uh, containing some ID cards. Please, if you have found it, let us have it. Uh, please, let's let's not let's look around. When you uh, uh, if you find it, please let us have it. Thank you very much. The next aim, I ground. I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gaining every day. Still praying as I upward bound. Lord plants my feet on higher ground. Would we'll listen to the tune from the organ before we sing.
we all remain standing before I say the closing prayer, I want the president, uh, as the president of the Nigerian Baptist Convention, after I've said the prayer, to come and give us the benediction with all humility, sir. And on behalf of the Nigerian Baptist Convention, we want to say thank you to the Nigerian Baptist Convention First Baptist Church, Garaki Abuja, for organizing this for our own mother, the mother of the entire Nigerian Baptist Convention. Please, a hand of applause to the Lord Almighty. We don't need to contest this with you. Join us in the battle also. We invite you. God bless you. Let us pray. Eternal Lord, we give thanks unto you for this hour. We bless you for this blessing and for a wonderful atmosphere you have given unto us. Thank you for this special congregation you have prepared for this occasion for celebrating your daughter who has been so wonderful, who has been so passionate, who has been so productive, who is known to be a woman that you can call a promise keeper. In all she does, she's always consistent. We give you thanks for this. Thank you for giving her unto us and unto the family of the leadership of the convention at such a time like this. A promoter of peace and unity indeed. We bless you, Lord. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for the message you have given unto us today. Very short, very strong, and very sharp. We bless you for the preacher. Take glory, Lord. Thank you for the senior pastor of the church. Wherever he may be right now, Lord, grant him your mercy. That is coming back shall be fruitful, shall be successful in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for the role the wife has played to make this service wonderful. We we'll bless your holy name, Lord. As you have finished this service, we want to go to our different locations, preparing for the graduation and other programs for today. Lord, we plead the blood of Jesus that your presence will continue to be with us. Your mighty hands will be laid upon us and your daughter will continue to march on in the mighty name of Jesus. This month of March, we're going to be month of blessings, month of prosperity, month of perfect health unto all of us in the name of Jesus. Bless us, O oh Lord, that we will remain blessed. Answer our prayers concerning this nation, that Nigeria will turn better. And with all we have heard today, we will remain to be testimony personified. Take glory, Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Just before offering the benediction, I want to use this privilege to invite all of us to the graduation service uh, that will take place at 10 o'clock. Sorry, most of you probably did not prepare for that, but we do really hope you can have some light refreshment. I want to thank God for the provision of this light refreshment. Thank God for First Baptist Church, Garki Abuja. May I say, and I think I'm not making a mistake, we have graduated people for postgraduate diploma in, in theology before, but this is the first time we'll be graduating Master of Divinity special students. And uh, in the history of the Nigerian Baptist Theological Seminary, Ogbomosho, I want to think that this is the first time we will graduate a Master of Divinity program outside of the seminar. Is that not so, sir? So the program taking place today, today has actually never taken place outside of the Nigerian Baptist Theological Seminary, Ogbomosho, before. Everybody who graduated a Master of Divinity had to graduate in Ogbomosho. But this is the first time that we are graduating that program outside of Ogbomosho. And it is taking place in First Baptist Church, Garki Abuja. So we have to give a clap offering to the Lord who has made it possible. And uh, please come and experience the program. I'm sure you will be blessed and God will be glorified. 
and uh, all other things you may have to abandon for coming to this program, you will never regret. You will continue to give thanks to God. So we are grateful for all you have done for us. We And now may the grace, the love, the joy, the peace, the blessings, the provision, the abundance, the generosity, the kindness, the care, the goodness, the wisdom, the healing, the power, the compassion of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit rest upon the celebrant, the family the church, and all of us, now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you, and God bless you. Yeah, photographs will continue here briefly so that uh, uh, we can do it quickly and finish for the service that is just about 40 minutes away. So please, let's allow the celebrants to come so that pictures can be concluded uh, on time for the service